Hello and welcome to the Peacekeeper Project. My name is Ben. Now today I want to share with you a little secret to help you succeed in your meditation practice. And by succeed, I mean feeling progress. Now before I get into that little secret, there's something really important to understand. Now maybe you've always had a busy, overactive mind. Maybe you've always felt anxious and overwhelmed. And maybe meditation has always been challenging for you. But always does not have to mean forever. It may have been true up until this point, but going forward, it does not have to be. Now, I've worked with many people who initially came to me and said, I can't meditate. I can't quiet my mind. But then, they did. So it is possible. And what's happened in the past, our experience of the past, does not have to reflect the future. Now, another important aspect to meditation and making it work, and that's a little secret that I want to share with you, is our attitude towards the practice, how we approach it. So the little secret, learning to meditate should be like a baby learning to walk. Remember, at a very early stage of your life, well, you may not actually remember, but at an early stage of your life, you couldn't walk until you could. When you're a baby learning to walk, you stumbled and you fell many times. You may have cried many times, but you kept going. You got up and you kept going until you could walk. Now, you didn't even think about giving up, of course, because you didn't think then like you think now. You didn't have the mind that you have now. But something still moved you. There was an impulse inside you to move, to become vertical, to move and to walk. And you followed it. The impulse carried you. So what does this have to do with meditation? Well, there's a very similar principle. So learning to meditate and quiet your mind, attitude-wise, is very similar. Except now you have a mind that thinks too much. You get emotional and you're willing to give up. Now you might think this is a strange connection to make between learning to meditate and learning to walk. But stay with me, let me explain, because there's more to this than just a willingness to give up. That's just a, a symptom or a side effect of something else. So, like a baby's impulse to move, there is an impulse inside all of us to return to the quiet stillness inside. You may not have been aware of it when you came to meditation, but it's there at some level in the background. There's this wanting, a desire, a, a calling for stillness, peace, and calm. And we feel it in our heart. Now, I did title this talk around meditation and a baby learning to walk. But it's really about finding stillness and peace like a baby learning to walk. Because that's what this impulse is calling us to. It's this calling to the stillness. It's calling us to peace. So meditation is not the impulse. It's a practice to help us find our way, to align with and follow this impulse towards stillness and quiet. It's an impulse of the heart. Now, it's also important to remember that meditation and quieting your mind is much like any other skill. It does take practice and consistent practice is best. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to always be easy. Sometimes it's going to be challenging. You may stumble and fall many times. It may bring you to tears at times. But if you can find that impulse, this impulse towards quiet, this thing calling you inwards, then that impulse will carry you. It will carry you through the challenging times when your mind is wanting to, to give up. There's an impulse that is greater it's greater than the willingness to give up. It's greater than the stories and the dramas of our mind. And now you may connect with this impulse, feel it inside you, even outside of meditation. So it might be even as I'm talking to you, you might feel it responding inside you. You might feel it during sunset. This movement, this transition of nature from the activity of the day to the stillness of the night. 
you might feel it during fall. This movement and transition of nature from the activity of summer to the stillness and quiet of the winter. These natural cycles, this movement outwards and a return inwards to stillness. This impulse is a feeling and if you can feel it and let your awareness rest on it, then it will help carry you, carry you through your meditations. Especially when your mind might be more overactive, overthinking, there's more stories and dramas running through your mind. This impulse to stillness, this calling, will help carry you so that you stay motivated even when your mind is wanting to give up. And if you can really feel it and connect to it, this impulse may completely change how you experience meditation. From meditation being this thing where we do this thing to reduce stress and quiet our mind, to meditation as this thing where we connect to this impulse and this impulse towards quiet meditates us. It's a very different experience. Now, ultimately, this calling to stillness may require other practices, various mindfulness practices, maybe work on your emotions, past traumas, maybe working with emotional intelligence and resilience and what I like to call emotional alchemy. But it's all about connecting to this impulse that's there in the background. And this is what I do. I help people to remember and reconnect to this stillness, this peace inside. And if you'd like to know more about what I do, you can find more information at peacekeeperproject.com. Now let me know in the comments below, was this video helpful? Did it spark something inside you? Can you feel that calling of your heart to stillness and quiet? Let me know. Now, if you did find the video helpful, please give it a like. And if you know someone else who could be inspired by this video, please share it. And if you'd like to be notified when I release new videos, then you can hit that subscribe button. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for being here, and I really appreciate your presence. Until the next time, Follow that impulse, quiet your mind, and live from your heart.